Hello, 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 and thanks so much. Oh my goodness, here we are today. It's a Sunday, it's a Sunday, and it is time for Storytime Live with MKD. That's right, we are here with story time number 38, From Our Home to Yours. That's right, myself, Mrs. Kasha Davis, and Mr. Davis on technology want to wish you a very lovely day, and we are so glad you're here. You know, we're so glad you're here that it makes us smile. <laughs> Sing along. Wherever you may go, however near or far, just hold on to your dreams you reach for in the stars. Your dreams are yours alone. No matter what you'll be, there's one thing you can share. It's easy, can't you see? Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Your gift is your smile to wear from ear to ear. Your gift is your smile, it's yours throughout the year. So when you see a sad or grumpy face, you know just what to do. Give your smile to others, it works for me and you, and you, and you, and you. That's right, giving our smiles to others is the best gift you can give any day. And I hope that you give your smile away today. And I have to say that it would be so lovely if you shared our story time with your friends and family on Facebook. That would be great. Because it's fun to see your comments and what you have to say. And I have to tell you, sometimes I get book suggestions. So if you've got a book suggestion, please let us know. And parents, don't you forget to let us know if someone's having a birthday or a celebration. And we'd love to shout out for you so you can celebrate your special day. Well, I have to say today is dedicated, this story time, I'd like to dedicate to a friend of mine who is now an angel looking over us in heaven. Her name is Lady Red Couture. And she was a fabulous drag queen celebrity. She was on a show called Hey Queen. And I was very lucky to know her. And I have to say that it's wonderful to know that I have another angel looking over from heaven. Looking over all of us, really. Okay. Well, sometimes news like that can bring you down a little low, right? Or do you ever feel, oh my gosh, Someone didn't call me back. Or, oh my goodness, I haven't heard from this friend. Or, wow, it seems like mom and dad like Michael, my brother, better than me. Or whatever feelings you may have that go inside your head that make you think to yourself, wow, I must not matter. It doesn't matter what I feel. No one's listening. And sometimes those words go inside my head that's exactly where they should, uh, where they really start is inside my head. And honestly, <coughs> it's not the truth. I make up some of these things. And the truth is, you matter. And I matter. And everyone matters. So this book, another fabulous book selected by our daughter, Melissa, who is a children's librarian. We're so lucky. This one is by Christian Robinson. It's called you matter. Are we ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. For anyone who isn't sure if they matter, you do. The small stuff too small to see. She's looking in her microscope, right? Those who swim with the tide and those who don't. The first to go and the last. You matter. When everyone thinks 
You're a pest. <gasps> when something is just out of reach, oh, the dinosaur can't catch it. <laughs> When everyone is too busy to help, you matter. Yeah, sometimes we get busy, right? Especially our parents, our grandparents, our guardians. If you fall down, uh-oh, is that a meteor? I think so. That's a long way to fall down. If you have to start, all over again. Can you see yourself? Even if you're real gassy, <laughs> you matter. What's real gassy? The sun? Sometimes home is far away. Sometimes, someone you love says goodbye. Maybe they travel far away. Or like my friend Lady Red Couture, they go to heaven. Sometimes, you feel lost and alone, but you matter. You see, sometimes a, a busy, busy street, and oh, no one sees me. Of course we do. You matter. Old and young, you. <laughs> the first to go and the last. Eating the pigeons, eating the pigeons. The small stuff, too small to see. Look at that whole little world for those ants. Underneath the earth, like a village. You matter. Have you ever flown in a plane and looked out the window and thought to yourself that the world looks like that little ant village we just saw? And you think, oh my goodness, there's so many people and so many things. You matter. The end. You matter. Well, I think that that's a lovely message and an important thing for us to remind ourselves. Because, like I said earlier, there's little squirrels that go inside my head sometimes and tell me lies like I don't matter. And sometimes those lies can make me sad and make me concerned or worried. And the best solution is to talk to a friend or a parent and share those feelings. Because when you share your feelings, they get a little lighter and you're a little brighter and you can smile. And of course, we all know what makes us smile. Jokes. I have my corny jokes here. Let's see. How about this one, Mr. Davis? Have you heard the story of the skunk? Oh, never mind, it stinks. <laughs> How do you make a sausage roll? Push it. How do fish count on their fish fingers? Hmm, I don't know about that one. Last one. What kind of jam can't be beaten? A traffic jam. No, not beaten, eaten. <laughs> What kind of jam cannot be eaten? A traffic jam. And last but not least, my friend Grover. This is a book, sometimes I take a book like this that's too long to read at story time, and I think, oh, what page should I turn to? Well, let's see. Which one do you think? Tell me when to stop. Okay, and stop. All your angles are your best angles. <laughs> See that? Snuffy's looking in the mirror, 
And sometimes we look in the mirror and we don't like what we see, right? We think, oh boy, I don't like my hair today or something. And every angle is good. You are beautiful. When you look in that mirror, remember to promise me you will say to yourself in your beautiful eyes, I love you. Because why? You guessed it. Whoop. You matter. And that's it for today. I hope you have a lovely day, and I cannot wait to see you again real soon. Remember, if you've got a birthday, let me know, or a special day. A sad or grumpy face, you know just what to do. And give your smile to others. It works for me and you and Mr. Davis and Max and everybody. Even the birds can smile. It doesn't always look like it, but they're smiling. Just listen.